We've got a location on Liuri and El Polito. Let's pay these fuckers back for what they did to Sandoval. I don't care how you do it, so long as they both end up dead. Wow! Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Ghost Recon Wildlands. Things are getting hot and spicy right now, holy cow. So, we have a location on Yuri and uh, his beloved wife. And we are currently in route to take them down. It's going to be awesome, I'm excited. But, uh, we'll see. We'll see what it is. They've got some sort of a hunting lodge up here in the mountains, so... That's what we're going to be working with. I'm assuming they're going to have lots of security. I guess who really knows, but... It looks like... It looks like we've made it. Is this the hunting lodge right here? I don't know. Maybe they, they aren't too worried about people coming after them, so maybe they don't really have security. We'll, we'll find out, but I'm not seeing too much so far. I guess we'll send the drone up Point just drone. to check. This is definitely the hunting lodge, right? I feel like it has to be. Dude, that's 100% it. Alright, well. I think we're good, but... Honestly, I don't think we can go down that way. <laughs> I think that would have been a bad idea. So we'll go down and around. We landed up top so we don't have to worry about making too much noise and having them discover us. Right. Turn our night vision Advance on. Advance on the lodge. Stay alert. We got company. Stay sharp. Company where? There's company up on the hill behind us. I think we're okay though. Move in. Watch those doorways and corners. What the fudge, man? This is so creepy. Look at that giant alligator over there in the corner. This must be where Sandoval cashed in. Bowman said they kept him alive for 47 hours. Tough son of a bitch held out for a long time. I feel like he was waiting for us to come get him, and we're real fucking late. Time to make it right. Cariño, who were you before you met? Mamacita, I was nobody. Nothing. I could not have even imagined a life so deep, a love so full as the love I have with you. Oh, Gordo, I feel the same. I was half a person before I met you. I was a faded image, out of focus. Until I could see myself through your eyes. Damn. Just now when I was breaking that. Let's go save this guy. I was imagining that he had tried to touch you. That's a kill. Damn, she's tough. Are you serious? Why was she so hard to kill? Holy cow, dude. She's like Superman. Yuri ran down here. Are we getting shot? Oh my gosh. All right, they're going to have uh, support coming in. He's down. Yuri and Polito have been terminated. You know how in the movies people always act like revenge isn't satisfying? Like it doesn't make them feel any better? Sure. Well, I'd feel fucking great. Taking out that lovey-dovey horror show also earned us some points with the locals. Make contact when you find something new. Bowman out. Polito killed. Oh my god, dude. They were dismembering people. Are you kidding me? Cartel dismantling. You've neutralized the Bukan. Defeat the other Bukans to re reach op heads and then El Sueño access an overview of the cartel attack map by zooming out. Okay, yeah, I got that. But no, they were... Dude, they were dismantling people. 
This is horrible. This looks like something out of a horror film, bro. What in the Okay, let's let's just get out of here. This is this is creepy. This is weird. I don't like it. We have a new video available. Our security infrastructure was being attacked. It made me question if La Plaga, our head sicario, was up to the task, or if he was too distracted with social media antics. Are you too busy chasing pussy on the internet to do your fucking job? <laughs> or is fucking your job? No, Hefe. He's my brother, Sueño. I will keep him in line. La Plaga got the message. Too well. He doubled down. Whoever is behind this, know that we will find you. Know that for every one of us you kill, we will kill ten civilians at random. There is no such thing as innocent to me. Whoa! The little pendejo had no idea how much damage he had just caused. No way! So they're gonna start killing civilians. Based on what we just did. Holy cow. Why do these guys have a minigun set up in their lab? Like, that's what the, the El Polito or whatever, the girl, was going after. She, she ran around and got behind the sandbags with a minigun. She was about to try to minigun us. She would have survived there. That was crazy. All right, anyway. Let's head back upstairs in the hunting lodge here. It looks like, uh... I don't even know where these supplies are. Are they on the outside, maybe? We've got some supplies we need to mark for our brethren. I'm not seeing them, though. Maybe they're downstairs when we went by them. It's all right. No big deal. We're just going to take their helicopter out, and uh, let's go find out what's going on next. So, do we have the location of that civilian killer, or... I'm not even sure. Right now, look at that. So we took out a Bucon there, and then we take out all these Bucons to get to an underboss, and then to the head of security, influence, production, and smuggling, and then to El Sueño is our goal. But um, for right now, I don't see anything else outside of our zone. It looks like... I mean, maybe we go around and do some of these side missions and see what we can what we can find. We can get some skill points. There's a side mission over here to give us 2,500 in the uh, the rebel side of things. There's this little skill point thing right here. I say we go do those two, since they're right next to each other. Sure are a lot of lights and switches up here. Sorry, fellas. You'll just spawn it, right. or you'll use your superhuman jumping ability. Alright, anyway, we're gonna head this way. We'll pick up another skill point. And then we're gonna go do that side mission where I, I know you're taking out of the twisted hair. And I know this is payback for Sandoval. But let's keep this clean and tidy. Revenge is never clean and tidy. What's that saying about revenge being a dish? They say it tastes damn good. Well just don't make a damn mess of it. Alright guys, we are coming up on this next skill point location. So last time it was a uh it was an enemy compound. It was relatively heavily guarded. It looks like this time it's just a simple grave. Watch out for those blades. You should just be able to pick this thing right up. It makes it easy, man. Just with my class A uniform. Good stuff. Another skill point. All right, back of the chopper. It's sliding down the mountain. Oh, we saved it before it hit that tree. And now we're going to be going over... Oh, this convoy is moving. Okay, so we're going to grab that. One thing I am looking at here... I Are we done with this territory entirely? Because you guys can see it says... We're six out of six with missions. We have Kingslayer files here. Uh, but do we just move on to a next province and, and like, search for... I, I don't... Like, honestly, I've never completed a province, so I don't know what we do next. Like, we don't have any... We don't have any direction here. I was looking... To get to El Sueño, we need to take out two of the four people around him, and then to get to each one of these people, you have to take out the underboss, and to get the underboss, you have to take out everybody under him. So, we're already on this one, we need to take out all of these guys here, and then we can get this guy, and then we're already halfway to El Sueño. But, I don't know what our next actual move is. That's the 
problem. What we're going to do for now is go take out this convoy. It's going to give us 2,500 points to Rebel category. Probably going to be pretty good for us. They're going to appreciate appreciate the hard work. So let's go do that. All right, fellas. We are closing in fast here. It looks like they're going to be coming up this road. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn our lights on so they know we're coming. Ready? We're going to order fire, 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 and fire. start firing. I don't even know how to aim this thing, but we're doing an all right job. I see we're hitting the trucks sometimes. It's really hard to aim. Like it's it's harder than GTA 5. If we just get down real close. Those civvies are... Those might be civvies behind them. I think we're okay. Nice. So that actually didn't work out too bad. Snowman. We're on the ground in Okoro. What have you got for us? Okoro is the heart of cocaine production in Bolivia. The network there was built by El Yayo and predates Santa Blanca by more than a decade. When El Yayo joined the cartel and became the boss of production, he handed Okoro off to his grandson, who goes by the name El Emisario. The emissary. He spends most of his time outside the province, rubbing shoulders with politicians in Sucre and greasing the wheels for the cartel. Not really his job, but the guy's something of a charmer, and he figures this is the best way to make his grandfather proud. El Yayo lets it slide so long as the Coro continues to produce. Fact is, the network is so well established that it pretty much runs itself. El Emisario's assistant handles the rest. Get in there, gather intel on Okoro's production sites, and start fucking things up. That'll put pressure on El Emissario to come back to Okoro and get things back on track before Granddad finds out. When that happens, we grab him and use him to get to El Yeo. They're deep in the weeds now. That's Getting an upload from Bowman. Sounds good to me. We've got some intel on El Emissario. All right. So at least now we actually have our next, uh, our next kind of objective. We're going to be over in this province over here. So we have some intel here, there, there, there. We've got intel everywhere, so that's good. So we are, we're pretty much done here um, in this province, unless we want to go through and get more of the, the skill points and the weapon attachments and stuff like that. So I say, since we're literally right above this thing right here, let's just drop down and uh, hit up this major intel. You know, I believe these guys are already searching for us, so we want to be careful here. Try to land a little bit away from their base. We're catching like a, a weird draft or something right here. Alright, I'm getting out. I don't know what's gonna happen to that chopper, but she's dead. These car lights are gonna have to go. So I definitely saw a guy up in the towers. They're gonna have guys in all these towers. Alert's over. Let's get back to work. All right, breathe easy. Ten sighted. Guy in that tower. Eyes on the Jimmy. Want to shut off their lights? Could shut off their lights. That would be pretty good. The question is, how bad would it be to... That's a kill. How, how bad would it be to just sneak in without taking everybody out, you know what I mean? Hey, we got an arco with a submachine gun. It's no big deal. Call. I guess that was more serious than I thought. He's gonna go up to that tower and find that body. Um, but how bad would it be instead of taking everybody out and like blowing the generators and stuff? We just sneak in there and, and get the intel we need and then bounce out? Or is this gonna be a whole big production?
That's a kill. I got a Sicario with the submachine gun. Over there, next to the container. Tango marked, but he's got a civilian nearby. I'm good, bro. I'm sneaky. Let's go. Check it out. Got a location on a cocaine factory operating out of a converted slaughterhouse here in Okoro. What are we waiting for? Let's go light that shit up. Just one problem. Factory door requires a key code to open it. So where do we get the code? According to this, El Emisario's assistant has it. We need to track him down. There's something else here with us. Is this a weapon cache? Skill points. Question is, is it above or below us? Supplies. That's a brother's training shots with the cartel. We want to back them up? Absolutely. Fire. Roger. I'm opening fire on these shitheads. All right, skill points, rebel ops, supply raids. We're going to go with skill points. They see us up here. Seven skill point positions in this uh, this vicinity, this region. You think with all their picked money, up a skill point. Make a nicer metal. We're good to go. It's time to get the heck out of here, boys. And y'all know how we get out of out of town. Y'all know how we do things. We take the big chopper. More tangos here. That's right, Coda. We take the big chopper, bro. It's time to ride, boys. Ride or die. Hot exfil. Hot exfil right now. All right, I, I can't wait for the last guy because we've got uh, we got Uni Dodd coming in. Uni Dodd chopper going by. Tango's fucking dead. I hope they didn't see us. Are they following us? I think we're okay. I think we made it out just in time. Holy cow! All right, another good mission. 